Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Cecilia. Juan. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you and to have you in class. So I hope all of you are safe and sound. Espero que todos se encuentren muy bien de salud, all right? And let's get started with the class. So let's see. Today we're going to start with section four, no, with section two, I'm sorry. Hoy vamos a iniciar con la sección dos, right? Vamos a ver parte del vocabulary, pero también tenemos que finalizar algunas eh, lectures que nos quedaron de la sección one. Pero tenemos el tema en la sección dos. Does it have a view? We are in beginner, beginners number two, class three. Let's move on. So let's check. We have a conversation. I get up at noon, All right? We have, la primera vez, eh, siempre la voy a leer yo para que ustedes lleven una pronunciation o una entonación ya destacada, right? Y luego la van a practicar ustedes. Después de que la lea yo, uno de ustedes va a practicar conmigo y luego van ustedes solos. So let's see. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Oh, do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Now, I ask you guys, is there any volunteer to work with me? ¿Hay algún voluntario para trabajar conmigo ahorita? Me, teacher. Excellent, Emma. Very good. Emma, do you want to be Jack or Amy? ¿Quieres ser Jack o Amy? Um, Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock, they serve breakfast all day. All right, okay. excellent. Emma, very good job. So brave. Okay, Mayra, do you want to work with me? ¿Quieres trabajar conmigo, Mayra? Yes, teacher. Excellent. ¿Quieres ser Jack or Amy? Uh, Amy. All right, excellent. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Permítame, voy a bajar la mano, que no veo. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast tea? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let me meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve me breakfast all day. Bravo, excellent, very good job. Now, ahora sí, los dejo solos. Let's check, let me see. Tengo alguna pareja que quiere ser voluntarios ahorita para participar o escojo yo. This is a tricky question for you, right? Excellent, Marvin, you are Jack. Do I have an Amy? Tengo alguna Amy por ahí? Okay, yeah, I do have one. Cecilia Romero, you are Amy. Action. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. 
I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Oh, excellent. You were into the mood. Se metieron en la conversation. Excellent. Let's go with Kimberly, Elena. You are Amy. Nestor, Amilcar, you are Jack. Action. Let's go the bar on the Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time did you get on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get out at noon. Do you got breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. That's correct, my friends. Very good job. No mistakes, no corrections. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Let's go with Cecilia Rodriguez. You are aiming. Cecilia Rodriguez, you are Amy, and Vilma Cartagena, good evening, Cecilia. All right, and Vilma Cartagena, you are Jack. Action. No puede, Vilma, es que el micrófono tiene cerrado. All right. Maybe she has problems. Let's go with somebody else. Alguien que sustituya bien. Let me see. Beatriz Campos, please. You are Jack. Action. Let's go to, perdón. Let's go to the parking on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, does early on Sunday get up at noon? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I had breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. That was good, excellent. You were into the role. Si se metieron al role. Let's go to Juan Jose, you are Jack, and Catherine, Pamela, you are Amy. Action. Okay. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Jack, let's go. No, no le escucho. Sí, se le escucha. Hola, hola. Yes. ¿Usted no se escucha, Juan? Porque nosotros sí. Hola. Ay, no nos escucha. Let's see. Let me check, Juan. Hola, hola. Hello. No, no, no sé si es mi internet. Hola, no sé si es mi internet o el de la compañera. Nosotros sí le escuchamos, Juan. Ah, entonces es el de la compañera. No le escuché. 
Pero usted si nos escucha, Juan. Sí, sí, sí. Alright. Pero la ah. compañera no. El, el, la conversación de la compañera no. Eh, okay. La conversación Catherine. de Amy. Let este, me si quiere, Catherine. Sí, aquí está Catherine. Pamela, ¿estás ahí? Sí, aquí estoy. Ok. Solo que como él era el primero, por eso no había hablado. Ajá, exactly. Ok, es que yo no le terminé, la verdad, Juan, yo no le terminé de escuchar, así que por eso le preguntaba. Ah, perdón. Ok. okay. Voy de Action. nuevo entonces, perdón. Let's no, walk to the park on Sunday. Hola, me escucharon. Catherine. Hoy sí ya terminó Juan Catherine. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get get up on Sunday? At uh, 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early. On Sunday I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I had breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. That's correct. Excellent. Thank Great you. job. Now, let me check if we have another pair. Déjenme ver quiénes ya pasaron. Pasaron Marvin, Cecilia Romero, Kimberly, Néstor, Catherine, Juan, Cecilia Rodríguez, Beatriz Campos. Ok, so, ¿quiénes me faltan? Ajá. So, tenemos a Flor de María. You are Jack. Usted va a ser Jack. Flor de María. And ok. Maite Fuentes, you are Amy. Usted va a ser Amy. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let, let's go in the afternoon. What I do? I started, I sleep late in weekend. What I do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, then early on Sunday, I get up. Uh, no. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant. At one o'clock, there's say breakfast I day. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls. All right, now, Flor de Maria, repeat after me. That's. That's. Mm -hmm. And Mayrene, repeat after me. It. It. Mm -hmm. That's correct, excellent. Now, let's go with another pair. Creo que esta sería la última pareja ya. Vanessa Perdomo. You are Amy and Gerardo Rojas. You are Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, let's go in the, in the afternoon. I sleep late to weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? Uh, ten o'clock. Oh, that early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast, Tim? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant um, one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Date. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Ahora sí, ya voy con la última pareja para movernos del tema. Let's see. I'm going to have Hasmin. 
Ustedes, Amy, Alexis Hurtado, you are Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. Is left fly on weekends. What time do you get do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. On that's early on Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then left me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right, excellent. Thank you guys. Now listen up, right? Basically, this conversation les voy a dar el context de la conversation, right? Para tener una idea. Ellos están hablando, bueno, él le dice que vayan el domingo al parque, right? Y él le dice, claro, pues, sí, vamos, pero en la tarde, porque me despierto tarde los fines de semana. Creo que la mayoría lo hacemos, right? Bueno, yo no puedo, pero tal vez ustedes sí. They dice, what time do you get up on Sundays? ¿A qué horas te despiertas o te levantas los domingos? Right? ¿A qué horas te levantas los domingos? Y ella le dice, a las 10. En punto. No, eso es temprano. Los domingos yo me despierto al mediodía. Y tomas el desayuno, comes el desayuno. Entonces, claro, yo desayuno todos los días. Entonces, reunámonos en el restaurante a la una en punto. Ellos sirven desayunos todo el día. All right? Aquí quizás en nuestro country no tenemos eh, desayunos todo el día, right? Solo hay ciertos restaurantes que sí tienen breakfast all day long, pero other than that, los normales pues no lo tienen. Ya a las 11, no breakfast. Ah, all right. Good for you, Juan. Excellent. Now everybody, let's move on. Les di el context para que tengan una idea de lo que ustedes acaban de practicar. Irregular verbs. Voy a retomar esto eh, brevemente. Recuerden que los irregular verbs, los cuales vimos ayer, a medida que ustedes pasen de módulo o inclusive en este módulo, van a ver que hay más irregular verbs, pero se notan más o están a simple, a simple vista en el tiempo pasado, en past tense. All right? Ahorita, en simple present, en el presente simple, solo vamos a trabajar con tres, que sería have, Equals has, go, equals goes, do, equals does. All right? Recuerden, cuando yo tengo have, go, and do, es porque voy a utilizar first person singular. Si yo tengo has, goes, and does, I'm going to use third person singular. All right? So, let's check. Let's see what do we have over here. Simple present questions. Listen up. Yo les digo primero las preguntas y las respuestas y luego los pongo a practicar a ustedes. All right. Déjenme ver, solo quiero tapar eso. Meanwhile. All right. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. Right. Recuerden, en este idioma tenemos que pronunciar las palabras, aunque vayamos despacio, ustedes no se preocupen, all right? pero todas tienen su pronunciación exacta y tenemos que ejercerla. Aparte, tenemos que tratar de abrir bien nuestra boca para que salgan los sonidos. Now, let me check. Vamos a practicar. Emma, can you please help me asking these questions? Usted me ayuda 
si puede, por favor, con estas preguntas. Y Mayra va a contestar estas preguntas con do and does. Okay. Action. Do you get up early? No, I get, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. That's correct. Excellent. Alexis Hurtado, you are going to ask these questions. Usted va a preguntar estas que tenemos por aquí. Ah, y Marvin Soriano, usted va a responder. Estas WH questions. Action. What time do you get, get up? At 10 o'clock. What time doesn't he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they try to work? Every day. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Ahorita ya vamos a ver las estructuras, right? Porque les he dividido las structures para que sea más comprensible. Pero ahorita quiero que practiquemos ese speaking. Kimberly. And you are going to ask the questions we do and does. And Flor de Maria, you are going to answer those questions. Usted va a responder las preguntas de esta columna. Okay. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, I eat lunch. At uh, one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Excellent, very good job. Flor de Maria, repeat after me. It's lunch. It's lunch. Bravo, excellent, thank you. Nestor Amilcar, you are going to ask the WH questions. Usted pregunta las que están en la segunda columna. And René Portillo, you answer. Usted contesta. Action. Okay. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. All right, bravo, excellent, very good. Now, let me take Yesenia, you are going to ask the questions on the first column. Usted va a preguntar las de la primera columna. And Mayrene Fuentes, you answer. Usted contesta. Action. Could you, could you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. They drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, let me go with somebody else. Cecilia Rodríguez, you ask these questions. Usted va a preguntar estas que tenemos en la segunda columna, las WH questions, y Vanessa Perdomo va a contestar. Action. Okay. What time do you get, do you get, do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. That's correct. Excellent. All right, everybody. With that being said, ya con esto vamos a ver las formulas. All right. Estas que ustedes ven aquí, and please, everybody, close your microphones. Thank you. All right. Estas que tenemos en la primera columna, con las cuales ustedes han practicado, las del do, does, and do. All right. Estas son las W, no, estas son las yes, or no questions. Veamos aquí. For yes or no questions. <clears throat> we have this formula. Para estas yes or no questions, tenemos esta fórmula o esta estructura. Ojo con esto. Porque se les llama WH questions, no significa que comienzan con yes or no. Okay? Quiero destacar eso. 
sino que se contestan con el yes or no. Y tenemos la estructura do or does, dependiendo de nuestro subject, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Right? Repito, do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Ahora voy a pedir a cuatro compañeros que hagan lo mismo. Let me check. Eh, Juan José, dígame la estructura, please. Tell me the structure. Your microphone, Juan. Oh, perdón. Eh, para contestar eh, sí o no, me pre pregunta de sí o no. Eh, utilizamos el auxiliar do o dos o das plus subject plus el verb plus complement. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Gerardo Rodas, tell me the structure again. Dígame la estructura de nuevo. Eh, do o dos. Do o dos. Eh, plus sos. Subject plus verb plus complement. That's correct. Excellent. Jasmine, tell me the structure again. Do, uh, do es más subject, más verb, más complement. All right, Jasmine, repeat after me. Do or does? Sí, do, does. Uh -huh, exactly. Thank you. And finally, let me check. One last person. Hmm. Vanessa Perdomo, please tell me one more time the structure. Dígame una vez más. De... For yes, no questions. Do, does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Esta estructura aquí, right? Ya la tenemos aquí. Let's move on to another one. Me confirman, me dicen finished. Si ya terminaron de copiar esto para regresar a la anterior, para mostrarles la otra estructura. Finish. Finish. Excellent. Thank you. Now, for WH questions. Estas que ven ustedes aquí se les conocen como WH questions. En primer lugar, porque inician con las WH words. Inician con las palabras WH. Right? ¿Alguien podría darme unos ejemplos de las palabras con WH que tenemos? What, where, which. Uh -huh. yeah. Excellent. When. When. Very good job. Excellent. Those are my students. Very good. Entonces, sí, registramos eso. Excellent. ¿Qué sucede? También se les llama WH questions porque proveen más información. O sea que si alguien nos pregunta, no nos vamos a quedar. Yes. Yes, All right? No, porque estas ya nos piden más información. La persona quiere hablar, All right? So, utilizamos las WH questions. Dice la estructura. Escuchemos. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. All right? Let me check. Let's go back. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Mayra, tell me the structure, please. W, w word más do más does más subject más verbo más complement. All right, Mayra, ¿cómo decimos más en inglés? El símbolo más. Ay, plus. Me olvidó. plus. ¿Cómo? Plus. 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 Exacto. Okay. Cuando ustedes That's... escuchen que yo digo plus, you're welcome, my friend. De nada. Cuando ustedes escuchen que yo digo plus, me refiero al símbolo, right? Que tenemos aquí. El más es plus. Right? Cecilia Rodríguez, Rodríguez please. Um, tell me this structure. ¿Me lee la estructura, please? Eh... Doble, 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 do
plus do does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Bravo, excellent. Thank you so much. Nestor, Amilcar, please tell me the structure once again. WH word plus do does plus subject plus verb plus complement. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Desde el momento en que ustedes ya dicen las estructuras en inglés, ya están practicando el idioma, right? Ya están transmitiendo algo. No me lo dicen en Spanish porque si no, no estaríamos practicando. Si me dicen WH, palabra, o la palabra con WH más el hacer o el hace. All right, no, ahí no estamos practicando. I want you to tell me the structure. And the last one, Alexis Hurtado. Please tell me again the structure. Dígame de nuevo la estructura. W is word plus to does plus such plus verb plus complement. That's correct, sir. Excellent. All right, everybody. Let's move on. Now, with that being said, ya va a llegar el momento en el que ustedes les va a tocar practicar con eso. Para eso se las he dado ya. Pero vamos a... Marvin, do you have a question? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. este, volviendo a la, a la lámina anterior de la estructura de la WA question. Mm -hmm. este, hay oraciones, no, hay preguntas... Sí, o sea, oraciones completas de preguntas en las cuales no lleva el auxiliar el do, el, el da y el das. El do y el das. No. No hay. En el simple present no hay. No hay. Uh -huh. No, no hay. Oh, right. Siempre okay. necesita el auxiliar right. o la WH word. Ok. Thanks. Perfect. Thank Thank you, You're welcome. Raras veces van a escuchar ustedes en los programas de televisión que la persona no es en sí que diga la pregunta sin el auxiliar, sino que lo hace como en una manera de sorpresa. You get up early. Así, All right? Se come el auxiliar, pero ellos porque lo hacen uno por la actuación, el role play que ejercen y dos eh, es parte de a veces es parte de la diversión que ellos le dan a los TV shows, All right? Por eso se comen eso, pero sí es necesario. Right? O inclusive a veces puede que no lo escuchen, pero ellos sí lo mencionan. ¿Por qué? Va, creo que es en este, en este level en el que van a ver que la entonación en el do en el does no se la hacen muy profunda. Ya vamos a, ya vamos a aprender eso. Right? Y por eso es que hay personas que no lo alcanzan a percibir. Aunque ahí esté. So, a student report Mike Stars talks to people on the street about their schedules. Schedules es horario, all right? Schedules. Todos creo yo que tenemos un schedule. So, yo los voy a leer primero. La first conversation la leo yo. You don't need to copy, right? No necesitan copiar. Solo escuchen cuidadosamente y después van a practicar ustedes. So, let's see. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at seven and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. Let me have Lourdes Nerio. You are going to be Brittany. Usted va a ser Brittany. And Marvin, you are Mike. Usted va a ser Mike. Action. Okay. What's, what's your show like? My place starts at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 o'clock and take the bus to school. When do your class end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. library. So when do you study? 
My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. Excellent. Thank you guys. Very good job. Now let's go to the next one. Solo Marvin, repeat after me. Y esta palabra, everyone, si es algo um, difícil, all right, de pronunciar. Marvin, repeat after me. A schedule. A schedule. Mm -hmm. Exactly, a schedule. Okay. Las primeras veces les va a costar, all right, inclusive acordarnos de la pronunciation, pero de tanto que la escuchen se les va a quedar. Okay. All right. Let's go with the second conversation. Voy con la segunda conversation, después pongo a alguien a practicar aquí. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How did it go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight, around one. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Emma, would you like to be Joshua? Me gustaría ser Joshua, Emma? Yes, okay, and Kimberly, you are Mike. Action. What's your schedule like? Well, I got up a 6.30 p.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8 around 1. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, let's go with the third conversation. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. It's really late, okay? Let's go with Cecilia Romero. You are Maya. And Rene Portillo, you are Mike. Action. What do the children may like? I work at nine. I go to work at 10. And I play um, on the 3 a.m. What do you after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. That's correct. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Now, Rene, let's try to pronounce this one. Intentemos pronunciar esta, Rene. A schedule. Yes. A schedule. Excellent. There you have it. A schedule. Justamente. Así. Schedule. Very good. Thank you. All right, everyone. Se les llegó su momento, querido amigos, queridos amigos, all right? Let's see, les toca practicar con sus questions, all right? So let's see, create two sentences, no con las questions, perdón, sino que con estos irregular verbs. Create two, two sentences using the following verbs, has, goes, and does. Number two, share your sentences with the class. Entonces, creamos dos oraciones, escogen entre esos tres verbos para hacerlas. Recuerden que es para tercera persona. Y las compartimos en la clase, right? Si nos queda tiempo, las compartimos. Let's work. A trabajar. Solo son dos oraciones, all right?
finish teacher. Finish. Let me check. Can you finish? Emma y luego Mayra. Okay, Emma, tell me your sentences, please. She has an evaluation at the university. Mm -hmm. Second sentence, he goes, he he goes to the cinema on weekend. Bravo, excellent, <laughs> very good. Estaba difícil, Emma, or no? Ya con las estructuras? <laughs> also. <laughs> so, so, like in the middle. Excellent. Mayra, tell me your sentences. Mauricio has a car. Milena does her job. All right, very good. Get it, Ekta. Milena does her job. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Los que vayan finalizando me avisan para irles pidiendo esas sentences. Finish, Miss. Excellent. Kimberly, tell me. Martin goes to the school. Um, my sister has a new dress. Excellent. Very good. Both of them are correct. Let's go with Beatriz Campos. Creo que usted también ya finalizó. Yes. Do you, perdón, do I love English? Um, does she work? Pardon, excuse me. Um, does we have class on weekends? All right, excellent. Hizo preguntas, excellent. Sí, yes. está bien con los auxiliares, solo que en la segunda no me utilice el does, utilíceme el do. Porque está ah. utilizando el subject we. Entonces, do we have classes on weekend? Ah, ok. Ok. Thank Bravo. you. Todo lo demás está ahí. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. Ok. Uh, he has a pet. She goes to the park. Very good job. Excellent. Ok. Another volunteer. Yes, Vilma, those are correct, but you are using have instead of has. Quiero que utilicen el has, o el goes, o el does, all right? ¿Por qué? Porque son los irregulars, y es los que, los que pueden causar un poco de confusion. Ajá, Marvin, action. Number one, uh, my mother has a beautiful kitchen. And number two, my brother does handiwork. All right, number excellent. Three, uh -huh. Number three, the dog goes to the bar. All right, bravo, very good, excellent. Good for your mama, que bien, all right. <laughs> excellent. Let's check. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya finalizó? Entonces, cuando alguien más vaya finalizando, me avisan porque los necesito chequear que estemos todos en la misma página de, en cuanto a comprensión de estos temas. Right? Yes, teacher. Excelente. Let me see. Tenemos a Lourdes Merio. Ajá, Lourdes. Y luego Cecilia Rodríguez. He has a puppy. Marta goes to the university in the morning. All right, excellent. Yay, good. Action, Cecilia Rodríguez. She has a beautiful smile. He does the homework every day. Very good, excellent. Gracias por lo de beautiful smile. <laughs> All right. Just kidding, just kidding, Cecilia. All right, let's go with Jessenia Vasquez. She does room to the door. He has a study in the morning. She has a study in the morning. He has. He has, uh -huh. he has a study. study in the morning. ¿Qué quiere transmitirme con eso? Eh, ella fue a estudiar en la mañana. Ah, she goes. Pero ese ya no es en presente, amiga. Ese ya sería en pasado. Porque fue. All right. 
no quiere decir sabe. que ella va a estudiar en la mañana. Ajá. Ok, she goes, um, she goes okay, study sorry. in the morning. Ajá, uh -huh. study in the morning. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Thank you, Yesenia. Now, let me check. Alguien más. Ready. Ok, Juan José, tell me your sentences. Your microphone, Juan José. Ah, sí, sorry. <laughs> Helen, Helen, Helen goes to the church in the morning. He has a big house. Very good job. Excellent. Good for him. Let me check. Somebody else? Another volunteer? Y también si están teniendo struggles, si tienen algún problema para generar estas sentences, díganme. All right? All right, no more volunteers. Okay, so let's move on. Yes? Y que una pregunta, cuando utilizamos estos verbos irregulares en el tiempo presente en, en la tercera persona, y se puede hablar directamente del objeto, por ejemplo, eh, the, bo, uh, the boat goes to the moon, por ejemplo. Repita la oración, please. The bus goes to the moon. Ah, ya. Yes, you can use it. Se puede. Sí, se claro puede. que sí, claro que sí. Right. Recuerde que el it ejerce como en tercera persona singular, aunque es para objetos, animales, colores o cosas. Right? Very good job. Now, hasta aquí, mis estimados participantes, ¿tienen alguna duda o consulta? Porque ya no vamos a mover a la section 2. Solamente el vocabulary. Ajá, Yesenia. Tell me your question. Este, como íbamos a hacer también usando el, el, los... WH es eh, 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 válido decir when do you play soccer? Yes. Yes. Totally. Está totalmente válido. La estructura, sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. When do you play soccer? Excellent. Very good. Now, my friends, let's move on. Let's see what else do we have. All right. Do not worry. A ver, si quiero, <laughs> I'm going to be very honest with you. Recuerden que tenemos hasta esta semana para finalizar la sección 1 y 2. Y recuerden también que mi deber como docente es desarrollar los temas de la plataforma aquí. Es decir, que ustedes tengan la oportunidad de avanzar en la plataforma lo más que puedan o lo que deseen. Y yo siempre voy a generar el contenido aquí para explicarlo más a fondo. Right? O sea, no me quedo solo con lo de los audios o los eh, videos. Trato de explicarlo más a fondo. Let me check. Somebody has the microphone. Uh, please, everyone, close your microphones. Thank you. Let's continue. Now, Cecilia, she's dancing. All right, there you have it. Ya encontré. Quien lo tenía encendido. Now, let's see. Let's move on, everyone. Lo que les quiero destacar es que ustedes tienen que terminar esas dos sections para esta semana. Mañana vamos a continuar viendo la sección 2. Esperemos que podamos terminarla. Y si no, continuamos el lunes, pero ustedes ya tienen un avance. Un adelanto, right? El lunes básicamente es como un recap, lo que haríamos. Una recapitulación. So, let's see. Vocabulary, house, and apartment. House. Voy yo primero. Let's listen. First floor. First floor. Dining room. Kitchen. Laundry room. Look at this one, laundry room, living room, stairs, garage, yard, second floor, bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, bedroom, bathroom, apartment. Bathroom, bedroom, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, 
and loving. En realidad, lobby es lo principal en un apartment, right? El lobby es como la sala de espera, entonces es lo principal o la entrada es, un, es lo principal en un apartment. Y luego tenemos todas estas partes. A ver, antes de dejarlo solos, necesito un volunteer que quiera decir el vocabulary with me, que quiera decir el vocabulario conmigo. Don't be afraid, only one, please. All right, excellent, Kimberly, very good. Repeat after me, house. House. First floor. First floor. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Living room. Living room. Yard. Yard. Stairs. Stairs. Garage. Garage. Second floor. Second floor. Bedroom. 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 Closet. Closet. Hall. Hall. Stairs. Stairs. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. Apartment. Apartment. Lobby. Lobby. Bathroom. Bathroom. Bedroom. Bedroom. Closet. Closet. Dining room. Dining room. Living room. Living room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Elevator. Elevator. Excellent. Bravo. Thank you so much for your participation. Now, los dejo solos. All right. Um, let me check. Just go home, Miss Victims. Let's start with. Let me see. Um, Juan Jose Pineda, please. Action. Sí. House. First floor. Dining room. Kitchen. Laundry room. Living room. Stairs. Yard. The second floor. Bedroom. Bedroom two. Closet. Hall. Stair. Bedroom. Bathroom, garage, apartment, uh, bedroom, uh, bathroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room. Elevator. All right, excellent. Thank you, Juan Jose. Very good job. Thank you. Now, listen up, guys. Todos, absolutamente todos, tienen que tener este vocabulary. Puede ser sencillo, pueden pensar que no lo van a utilizar, pero inclusive, solo con este vocabulary y los verbos que ya tienen ustedes, pueden formar oraciones. All right? You can form sentences. Marvin, do you have a question or you want to participate? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, ¿Verdad que hay diferencia? No sé si estoy equivocado. ¿Hay diferencia entre el baño de una casa y el baño de un centro comercial? La forma de pronunciarlo. Yes, a eso se le llama restroom. Al del centro comercial. Restroom. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok, tenía esa duda. Don't worry, excellent. Very Thank good question. Bueno, Marvin, aprovechando, díganme el well, vocabulario. <laughs> okay. Uh, house. Uh, fear floor. Dining room. Kitchen. Living room. Uh, laundry room. Stairs. Yard. Second floor. Bedroom one. Bedroom two. Bedroom three. Bathroom. Garage. Apartment, bathroom, bedroom, dining room, living room, kitchen, elevator, lobby. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Emma, tell me the vocabulary, please. House. 
second floor. No, first floor. First floor. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, yard. Second floor. Bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, bedroom, bathroom, garage, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, lobby. That's correct. Thank you, girl. All right. Now, everyone, let's check. Eh, Juan nos pregunta, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre hall y lobby? Lobby es el lugar de espera, right? El lobby es lo que hay siempre en un apartment. Un lugar de espera es lo primero que encontramos en un apartment. Hall es pasillo. Literalmente eso significa pasillo. Por eso es que ustedes en el apartment no ven que diga hall, porque como son pequeños, usualmente los apartments son pequeños. No tienen un pasillo. Mientras que una casa grande como esta, first floor y second floor, sí tiene pasillo, right? Hall es pasillo. Lobby es lugar de espera. Right? Now, let me check. Okay, thank you. Now, everybody, let me move on. Just to finish. Questions to practice. What rooms are in your house? Let's see. ¿Qué cuartos o qué habitaciones tienen en su casa? Cecilia Romero. What rooms are in your house? De estos que aparecen aquí, which ones do you have? Uh, la parte de, de, de la ¿qué partes tengo en mi casa? Ajá, exactly. Ah, ok. Este, dining room, kitchen, eh, tengo lo que es el living room, uh, quiero ver, closet, uh -huh. uh, bedroom, oh, quiero ver, ¿qué más? Uh, garage, uh, no, elevador no tengo. I wish, but I don't. Dígame, deseo, pero no tengo. Este, quiero ver. Hall es pasillo. ¿va? Exactly. Uh, eh, tengo también este jardín. ¿Cómo se dice jardín? Yard. Yard. Ah, aquí estaba. Yard. Ah, también yard. También. Uh, solamente. Qué bonita su casa. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, with another one. Now, Alexis Sultado. Let's see, Alexis. What rooms are in houses of your country? ¿Qué habitaciones o qué cuartos tenemos en las casas de nuestro país? And let's be honest. All right, Alexis Sultado. Okay, it means uh, <clears throat> uh, bedroom. Uh, okay. Dining room, eh, quizás en la mayoría solo eso, ¿no? It's true. Bedroom and dining room, that's true. Y donde está la cocina está el dining room también. Sí, yes. Excellent, thank you. Now, let's check. Yeah, por eso le dije, let's be honest. All right. Now, let me see. Yesenia, let's check question number three. What rooms are in apartments in your country? ¿Qué habitaciones tenemos en los apartamentos de nuestro país o en tu país? Um, the bedroom, closet, bathroom, uh, house, hall, kitchen, dinner room, um, uh, only. <laughs> only those, exactly. Very good job. Miren, Lockley no son como los apartamentos de, de ay, son grandes. un documental donde eran tan pequeñitos los apartments, literal, y valían mil dólares mensuales. So, luckily we don't have that, right? Porque sí hay bastante espacio en teoría, right? En nuestras casas o en los apartments. All right, everybody. With that being said, we're going to finish the class in here and I will see you tomorrow. Con esto finalizamos nuestra clase. Nos vemos mañana. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye